Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with another YouTube video. I know guys, it's been like two weeks, I have been slacking. The reason for that, there isn't really any reason, I kinda just wanted to take a little bit of a break. I got somewhat demotivated, but I kinda just got a burst of motivation to come back and upload again. I mean, it's kind of expected, like uploading content to YouTube, it isn't actually as easy as some people think. It is very, very draining, but I do in fact have some really good news coming up very soon. I actually made a tweet today, sorry for like the little plug. Like, but I in fact have an announcement within the next two to three days. I will leave the link to the tweet within the description so you guys can go and support that tweet, follow my Twitter. But with that out of the way, I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video how you can lower input lag and improve your game's one to one response time. So I will be covering a few secret tips a lot of the pros are using and basically just bringing them out to you guys. If you do go ahead to enjoy the video, you know what to do drop a like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And without further ado, I think I've done enough talking. Let's get straight into the video. So, as I said, we are just going to get the ball rolling and the first thing I'm going to talk about is intelligent standby list cleaner or ISLC as you guys may know it. I'm going to show like Google's definition of what this is but short and simple it's a completely free to use software which is designed to remove and reduce input lag you get when you're playing games. You may not know it but there's always hidden input lag within any system any game and you guys probably do know that or are experiencing that and that's the reason you click the video but basically what this application does it will completely get rid of that. It's kind of like timer resolution but 10 times more effective and just generally better. I'm obviously going to talk a little more about this as I'm showing you guys but what I'm going to do right now is head over to my desktop show you guys how you can download this and how to set it up. Okay so what I'm on right now is a website this is like a forum but this is where you can download ISLC. What you guys do you know you go on the page you scroll down and it says official download here you click this and it will download. I of course already have it on my PC so I'm not going to do that but you know the link is in the description so you guys can get this done but what I'm going to do right now is open it out. I have it right here on my desktop also guys don't ask me why but once you do download this you will need to keep this exact folder right here on your desktop at all times this folder includes the application and if you happen to delete it from your desktop it just won't function correctly i'm not sure why but it's just one of those things but what i'm going to do for you guys is open it out right now so i actually have just opened it but it basically can minimize to your display tray i'm not sure where you guys can't see this let me actually just resize something okay there we go my obs was a bit off screen but basically if you guys do open it and you can't see it open you guys will have to go down to your display tray like so and you will find the application here All you have to do is just double click that and there you go the application will open So it is kind of simple like this is super easy to set up and it's kind of like a one-time thing as well But the first thing in which you guys want to do is go to where it says the list size is at least and you want to change This number right here to 1024 so of course I've already inputted that number But make sure this right here is 1024 below that where it says free memory is lower than you want this right here to be half of what your total system the memory is so the way you can find out what your total system memory is is if you look at the top it says right here so mine is 32,723 so what I've done is I've obviously halved that and then put the number here so if you guys have maybe 10,000 you then want to put 5,000 in this box right here and that is fairly simple once you've done that these two boxes they won't be ticked make sure you guys do tick the both of them so what this does it ensures that you basically never have to open or mess with this application again this will basically start up the software the second you open your PC and it'll minimize itself straight down to a display tray and you'll never have to worry about it it'll run in the background and just do its job of decreasing input lag then moving on over here what you guys want to do is where it says wanted timer resolution you want to make sure this is 0 0.50 so literally 0 0.50 you then want to make sure enable custom timer resolution is ticked this box right here and also ensure the ISOC polling rate is either 500 or 1000. If you have a lower end PC you'll want to have this at 500 and if you have a higher end PC maybe an RTX series graphics card a decent CPU you'll want to have this at 1000 and once that's done all you have to do is press start once you've pressed start press purge standby list and that is it that's all you have to do to set up this application you can then minimize it it will go down to a display tray like so and you'll never have to mess around with this again this works 10 times better than timer resolution and honestly all the pros are using it right now so i had to include it in this video and moving on the next thing i'm going to talk about is an application or software called anti-micro it's usually the softwares which can do the most but again some of them can be considered bannable i mean you're not really breaking any rules you're not cheating you're not hacking but unfortunately some of them can get detected as i guess hacks or modded clients and there were rumors that these can get you banned so i guess use them at your own risk i know 100 percent islc cannot get you banned neither can time resolution i know there was a whole conspiracy and rumor going on around that but anti-micro 
bro of this software i'm really not sure if it will get you banned because within this program there is actually a tool which can help you set up macros and i know macros are bannable and are now being detected by fortnite's anti-cheat system so i guess you guys in the comments can be the judge whether you think this application or not is safe again i know many pros actually do use this i'm pretty sure lechi did actually use this himself he is a controller player and this is known to reduce controller input lag and obviously he hasn't been banned so i guess you can kind of take that information and think about it and the reason i mentioned this is because it isn't just like a macro creating software in this you can actually reduce input lag to your game i'm gonna be a hundred percent honest in this video i'm not going to show you guys how to do it i don't have the software downloaded and i don't know how to do it myself i'm going to link a few videos in the description of people showing you how to set it up and do that but i thought it'd just be a cool thing to mention it's something you guys can look into on top of islc and everything else i'm going to mention in this video and again moving on i'm going to be showing you guys one thing you can do if you do in fact have an nvidia graphics card something you can do within your control panel i'm going to show you guys that in a sec and then i'm going to be talking about something you may be using within your game which can also give you a huge amount of input lag and really affect your game's performance so make sure you do stick to the end for that but obviously i'm on my desktop right now if you guys do have the nvidia control panel you have got an nvidia gpu you want to right click or just go on to your nvidia control panel i'm sure you all know how obviously right here i'm on it i'm going to be showing you guys one thing you can do which you may have done you may have not but this does really help to reduce that lag sooner or later i'm going to make a full video where it's dedicated to me just showing you guys my nvidia control panel settings because i have optimized a lot within here i'll of course leak some of that in this video but i'm only going to show you guys one quick tip but obviously if you guys go to manage 3d settings one thing you really want to make sure is that low latency mode right here is actually set to on you may have it set to off you don't want it off you want it on on and you guys may have this on ultra or maybe you don't and you are wondering why you shouldn't have this on ultra i'm gonna be 100% transparent i don't know the exact reason i'm sure there is pc optimization experts people like that that can tell you but i had a guy called lurid oce work on my computer big shout out to him by the way and he gave me this quick tip that you should never have this on ultra again i told you i'm not 100 why but i know for a fact from using it and from experience it really makes your game feel as if you have so much delay almost as if you have higher ping it isn't good i also experienced a lot more stutters when using this on ultra but after this guy worked on my pc he changed it to on i then tested it out and my game felt so much more smoother and responsive i can't stress this one enough make sure you guys do have this on on and that is all i'm going to show you guys within my control panel just make sure this is done and i guess i'll show you guys my other settings here you guys can copy these if you really want you can just pause the video and do that but that's enough of the control panel stuff and now what i'm going to do is talk to you guys why you should actually never use stretch resolution on fortnite yeah i said it stretch resolution a custom resolution you guys should not be using on fortnite i'm probably going to make a full video dedicated to this so in this video i'm not going to get too in depth with it but if you guys didn't see the tweet this tweet was actually deleted but liquid stretch i'm sure you guys all know him he made a tweet i'll show on screen right now which said to be honest since i'm not i guess i'll leak something don't use stretch resolution it makes your game super laggy end game causes game crashes and if you keep your game open for more than an hour then you'll actually notice a lot of input lag is gone so what he's implying here is over the time using stretch resolution obviously if you use custom resolutions you keep your game open for maybe an hour two hours over the time you're using your game it'll slowly get laggier and laggier and when you restart your game you'll feel a lot of that cuts out he also did say underneath this he like he replied to his own tweet and said a lot of pros stop using it and this is exactly why but some are very weird and don't want to explain why everyone was going crazy like if you have twitter you would have saw this Mitro also replied i haven't got the reply but he replied something basically explaining this is why he stopped using stretch resolution i know Mitro kind of brought back the trend got a lot of pros to use it again also got a lot of people who watched him using stretch resolution again and then he randomly just stopped using it and this is exactly why i think i'll probably make a full video going into all the internals on this but all I'm saying is do not use stretch resolution. Just go to native. Honestly, it's better for you. And I actually did this myself. I was using stretch res. I switched back and I did feel that difference. So trust me, you want to reduce input lag. That would be one of the best things you can take on from this video. And with that all being said, that is all I have for you guys today. There isn't really much more to it. I kind of covered the main things. Anti-micro, you guys can give it a shot. Just make sure you know what you're doing and you set it up correctly. ISLC, that is a super big one. You guys will want to use that over time of resolution if you're not yet doing that. And I've shown you guys how to set it up in that video. And again, stretch resolution, do not use it, please.
If you guys did go ahead to enjoy the video, you can leave a like for me, subscribe, turn on post notifications, kind of the least you can do for me bringing this out to you guys. I appreciate everyone who watched to the end of the video. It's been your boy Farfetch, and yeah, peace.